What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Two of Us by Louis Tomlinson on the good old uke. As always with every ukulele tutorial, I will include a skip to section right here where you can skip to either the chords, the chord progression, or the strumming if you don't want to sit through your entire 10 minute video. I totally get it, I totally understand, but if you did, I'd love you forever. Also, what I do want to note is that the play along video for this song will be live on my channel right here on YouTube. So definitely come back to this channel after you've learned the chords, the strumming and the chord progression. And again, the play along video consists of the lyrics and chords on screen while I strum and sing the entire song. So again, it's a super easy play along for you. Uh, but again, that will be live coming shortly. So make sure to come back to this channel. And also don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the bell notification to be notified when that video goes live, if you haven't already. And also if you do want the full PDF chord sheet for this song, which is the lyrics and the chord right above the word, so you know exactly when to switch chords. That'll be available on Patreon. So if you want to go sign up and become a member, it definitely helps out this channel. I'll leave a link in the description below. It is a $5 monthly subscription service and you get access to extra videos and also all the PDF chord sheets for all the songs. So that will be in the description below. Uh, but with all that said and done, let's go ahead and learn the chords that we need for this song. All right, so let's learn these chords. As always, I will include a visual representation of where you need to put your fingers on the uke for each chord. I feel like it just helps a lot when you can visually see and then have me talk you through it. So the first chord that we need is the A minor chord and how we're gonna play the A minor is you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place your middle finger on the top string, which is the fourth string. So your middle finger is gonna go on the fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the C chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to place your ring finger on the bottom string which is the first string. So your ring finger is going to go on the first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. Awesome. The next chord that we need is the F chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second string, first fret, and then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the fourth string, second fret, and it should sound like this. And the last chord that we need for this song is the G chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger, you're gonna place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret, then you're gonna take your middle finger and place it on the first string, second fret, and then finally you're gonna take your ring finger and place it on the second string, third fret, and it should sound like this. There you have it. So those are the four chords that we need for this song. As always, if you do need a little bit more extra time, make sure to press the pause button right now, rewind to whatever section or chord that you need a little bit more time on. And then once the chords sound crisp and clear, press play and now let's talk about the chord progression that we're gonna use for this song coming up next. All right, so we just learned the chords. Now let's learn the structure of the song, which is going to be with the chord progression. And lucky for us, the chord progression stays throughout the same throughout the entire song. So let's get into it. So the chord progression is gonna be F, then C, then G, and then A minor. So let's do that one more time. F, C, G, A minor. So that is gonna be the entire chord progression for this song. That is the entire song. You're just gonna do that on a loop. Again, it's gonna go F, C, G, A minor, and then you're just gonna keep on doing that. And then you basically have the entire song down. And when we talk about the strumming for this song, I will include the chord progression in there as well. So you know exactly what chords is gonna come next. But as soon as you memorize that chord progression, F, C, G, A minor, you have the entire song, but let's go ahead and learn how we're gonna play the song with the strumming coming up next. 
All right, so we just learned the chords and the chord progression. Now let's talk about how we're gonna play this song with the strumming. I'm gonna teach you three different ways you can play this song. The first way is gonna be for the true beginner who's like, Ricky, I just got this uke for Christmas. I just picked it up like a day ago, an hour ago, right now. I don't wanna add strumming to any of it. I love Louis Tomlinson. I love this song. I just wanna get through it. I got you. So the first way that we're gonna play this song is gonna be for the true beginner and that's just going to be with a down strum. So I'm gonna strum down with a thumb and with this part of my thumb right here, sort of that meaty portion. And you're just gonna glide over all four strings. And if you feel like your finger or your thumb is getting caught in between the strings, that basically just means that you're putting way too much pressure on the actual strings. Just kind of glide over and it'll sound very angelic sound amazing and again if you do the chord progression and again the entire chord sheet is on patreon I'll leave a link in the description below where you can download the entire lyrics and chords and again the chord is right above the word so you know exactly when to change chords by the word that'll be in the description below but again and the play along video will also be live on the channel so you can play along and you can just do a down strum and it'll sound just as awesome. All right, so the second way that we can play this song is going to be with a strumming pattern, and I have the F chord down, and the strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, up, down, up. So let's do the chord progression included into that strumming. So the chord progression again is F, C, G, A minor, and again, you're gonna do that strumming pattern once for every chord. So let's start off with F in three, two, one, down, down, up, up, down, up, C, down, down, up, up, down, up, G, down, down, up, up, down, up, A minor, down, down, up, up, down, up. So if you go quicker and you don't you just kind of go through it, it's just going to be. And again, the full play along will also be live, so make sure to check back on that. And you can play along either with the down strumming or the actual strumming pattern that we just talked about. Now let's talk about the third way that we can do the song with a finger pick. All right, so the third way that we can play the song is going to be with a finger pick. And you know what? Let me bring you guys in so you can actually see what's going on here. So in three, two, one. All right, so you are a lot closer to the uke and my fingers, so you can see what's going on between them two. So I'm gonna put on screen right now what the finger picking is going to be. I have the F chord down, and it's just gonna be four, three, bottom two. So how I do the finger picking with my fingers, I pick the fourth string with my thumb. I pick the third string with my thumb and then the bottom two strings at the same time with my pointer finger and my middle finger. So it's gonna go four, three, bottom two. So again, with the chord progression, F, C, G, A minor, it's gonna go four, three, bottom two. Then you go to C, four, three, bottom two. Let's go to G, four, three, bottom two. And now let's go to A minor, four, three, bottom two. So as you can see, you're gonna do that finger picking pattern once for every chord. It's just gonna go, what, this is one finger picking pattern. Four, three, bottom two. And then you go to the next chord. And again, each chord gets one finger picking pattern. So let's do that again. F, C, G, A minor. And again, you're just gonna repeat that through the entire song. And oh, look, you have a little uh, Potato Squad merch, little, little nice little design in there if you wanna get that, link in the description. But otherwise, those are the three different ways that you can play this song on the uke, which is awesome. All right, so we learned the chords, the chord progression, and the three different ways you can play this song. Congratulations, you now know how to play Two of Us by Louis Tomlinson on the good old uke. As always, if you did like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button below and the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video right here on YouTube, if you haven't already.
Also, I do want to give a huge shout out and thank you to you for clicking on this video. I know there's a billion, gajillion, trillion videos they can watch on YouTube and you decided to click on this one and watch it. So thank you so much for all the support. And if you did just recently subscribe to this channel, welcome officially to the Uke fam. I love you and I appreciate you so much. And if you also do want to join our live streaming that we do weekly, we do twice a week, every Wednesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, it's a really good time. And if you do join any of one, any of those lives, you will also become a Potato Squad member. So you're like a squad within a squad. So if you subscribe to this channel, you are part of the Uke fam. If you join any of those live streams, you will be a part of a Potato Squad family, which is absolutely amazing. We have the greatest time. We do a lot of giveaways, we hang out, we tell stories. It's just a really good time on these live streams, which I do on this channel again every Wednesday and Friday. So make sure to join one of those. I'll leave a full schedule in the description if you wanna check out the next live stream. I highly encourage it, it's really awesome and we get to know each other. So thank you so much for all the support. I really can't thank you enough. Also, if you're anything like me when you're watching a ukulele video, you're like, dude, what uke is that? It looks and sounds amazing. I got you. This is a concert sized Ola ukulele. It is in a green color and it's absolutely amazing. It has a nice little design around the sound hole. And one of the things that I really, really love about this uke is not only the sound and the look of it, but also the price. This uke is one of my favorites that I found this year, and it's actually reviewed it on my Amazon videos under, I think I said under $75. This uke right now is $70 on Amazon, and it does come with a padded gig bag, picks, and a strap. So if you've been looking for a concert size uke that's not gonna break the bank, and it's actually really nice and high quality, and I did keep the strings on here, which I'm pretty sure they are Aquila strings as well. Yes, they are, I just saw it. They are Aquila strings, which those are obviously great strings. For $70, again, this uke is definitely one of my favorites and definitely has stayed in my collection and is right next to my desk. So if I have like five minutes to spare between editing or exporting a video, I will pick this up and just play randomly. And it sounds amazing as you can tell in the video. But again, if you do want to get this on Amazon, it is currently running on at $70, which is insane for a concert size uke. And I'll leave a link in the description below if you do want to go check it out, read some reviews, or get it for yourself or for a friend. Highly recommend. You've seen me play this a lot on this channel and I'm excited that I found Hola Ukulele because before that, I didn't know they existed. So I'm very excited that I can share this knowledge with you that this is a $70 awesome concert ukulele. Again, link will be in the description below if you wanna go check it out. And finally, we do have merch. If you do wanna support this channel, link will be in the description below. I'm currently wearing the official Potato Squad hoodie, but we also do have the Uke Fam merch, which is the logo for this channel. Uh, if you do get any of the merch and you do wanna share it out to the other Uke Fam members, you can follow me and tag me on Instagram at Ricky Somborn. I'm always resharing, reposting your stories, your posts, if you have any merch, or if you're learning or playing a song and you wanna share it out to everybody else and you want people to see the awesome progress, make sure to tag me in your posts or your stories with either songs that you learned from this channel or if you're wearing merch, I'm always looking to reshare. And if you haven't already, but you are gonna join me on Instagram, make sure to send me a DM on Instagram. I'm always checking my DMs. Let me know what video you came from and what you wanna see on this channel, like song recommendations, uke recommendations, what you wanna see, let me know. I am all ears. So thank you so much for all the support. Again, it's at Ricky Sanborn on pretty much all my social media. So if you wanna go say hi on any others, or you can go check the links in the description below. Honestly, the description has all the information that you need uh, for Patreon links, Twitter, Instagram. I don't really use Snapchat, but all that good stuff is down there if you wanna go check it out. And again, the merch and the Uke info all in the description for this. Thank you so much for watching. I really can't thank you enough for all the support. It's almost the end of the year. 2020 is almost done. Thank goodness, but thank you so much. I love you. I hate to leave you, but I'll see you in my next video. Bye.